just a simple man working on the land. Hey guys, Urban Gotham Prepper here. Uh, decided to do this quick video, day out, weekend out, heading out to the uh, the firing range out in Pennsylvania today. With a bunch of guys from work. Quick stop, fill up some of that rib stick and food at, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, Cracker Barrel. Got some nice grub in. I'm gonna go out, test out some new, uh, test out some firearms, and uh, see if there's anything worth uh, possibly trying to get my hands on if uh, I can figure out how to do it. So uh, stick with me, just some uh, random shots. Of Thank 
kick. What's the kick in the, uh, the 229? Yeah. Urban prepper here. This is your friend, Seymour. The 223 with an Eaton Tech shuttle. I just went one round with it. Sing kicks. See how I need you to stand back in one second. What do you need? Heavy, please. Got it. The noise maker. The noise maker. That. That is a firearm to own. There's a good reason the U.S. military is using them. Love it, baby. Hey guys. So, uh, quick little follow-up to this uh, little uh, diary of a day out, having fun with the guys. Um, as you guys can see in the video, um, because we're at a range where we do not have firearms permits and we're not using our own firearms, uh, this particular range is very, very safety conscious, uh, and I applaud them for that. Uh, and the instructors you can see in the video uh, actually um, safety check and load the firearms and put them in your hands. Uh, they don't want the uh, want everybody else uh, loading and unloading, uh, etc., just in case of jams or anything like that. So uh, that's why it might look a little weird. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, ranges like that exist anywhere else. Uh, you know, as you can see, uh, basically you walk in and uh, they've got probably a hundred different firearms that you can pick from and. Uh, you know they charge you anywhere from like eight to maybe eighteen bucks depending on the firearm to run a clip through it um, and the instructors if you need help they'll uh... you know they'll help you with hand placement and help you with your stance and things like that so that's why that may look a little weird that i wasn't like loading my own firearms and uh... clipping in and that he was taking them right out of the hand as soon as you're done with the clip so but still an amazing day um, I had a great time um, I gotta say, uh, being this is the first time I've ever shot handguns before, um, I have shot rifles a um, long time ago in my childhood, uh, but having shot uh, handguns for the first time in my life today, um, I specifically chose, uh, the one you didn't see that I didn't get a chance to film was the uh, uh, the H&K USP. Um, and I've been looking at the 229, the USP, and the Glock, I was actually looking at a 27, but they had the 21 there. Um, getting a feel, um, you know, as you know, I, I can't own firearms in this city, um, but I'm starting to find out some more information that there might be a possibility somewhere down the road that uh, I might actually be able to get, um, not a carry permit, uh, but I might actually be able to own some firearms. So I decided to start doing some research and uh, uh, put a couple of rounds through some ones that I've been interested in. And uh, I got to say, just personal preference, preference uh, with only putting one clip through, um, and I hate to say it because I always thought that they would be great but I really do not like Glocks at all uh, it felt like crap in my hand it felt like a box in my hand it didn't fit well um, for a 45 the kick was outrageous it didn't feel balanced in my hand um, and uh, as you can see I'm gonna try and put some pictures in uh, you can check the groupings uh, for the one clip and the them and my, my shots are all over the place um, the 229 felt great uh, had a good feel had a good balance a good weight uh, pretty good and the USP I mean it's a 9mm I, I really wanted something a little bigger than a 9mm um, but I wanted to see what it felt like in uh, a good solid firearm uh, I will make a note my my favorite part of the day without a doubt was the FN SCAR um, it was one of the last guns I shot I was gonna go with the SCAR Heavy they have it in a 308 uh, but it, the 308 that they had didn't have a scope on it and it didn't have the uh, front barrel grip on it um, and as a note, um, I will just say, being an inexperienced shooter, um, that after I did my historical duty and uh, put a clip through an M1 Garand, it kicked my ass, and I can barely lift my arm up. Uh, it's bruising. Uh, I thought I had it seated well enough uh, when I was firing it, and it just, that kick took me by surprise, and my shoulder is kicking my ass, and it was within like a minute after firing, so I didn't want to put another 308 up to that same shoulder, so... I put the 223 through the test. Um, I just, I love it. I've always been a fan of it, um, just visually and for the U.S. military. And I, I just, it, it was fantastic. I just, I had an absolute time of my life, uh, uh, you know, putting a couple, putting a couple clips through that, 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 uh, that scar light. Um, and the grand, I gotta say, you know, uh, my grandfather, uh, passed away a while ago, but, uh, was a, uh, 
a uh, veteran of World War II, and uh, though he didn't speak much of his uh, time in the war, I'm pretty sure that he lugged one of those around uh, most of Europe for a number of years while he was there. Um, and the fact that uh, I could get my hands on one and fire a clip through it just for the historical value and uh, a little tribute to my grandfather and just, you know, a little bit better feel of the heft and the weight of a, of a grand and the kick that that bastard has. Wow, what a kick that has. Um, and uh, the uh, the old cliche, the uh, the, uh, the the tinny cling when the, the clip pops out and hits the ground. Uh, the stories you used to hear from soldiers about those. Um, and I did keep the uh, I did keep that clip. Uh, they let me take it home just as a little souvenir. Uh, they usually recycle them, but they're pretty cheap. So, uh, all in all, fantastic day out with some guys from work. I uh, hope you enjoyed just this, you know, fun little, uh, quick little documentary of the day out. And uh, hopefully, I get to go back soon and uh, try out some other uh, some other firearms. So, hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments, uh, leave some likes, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Urban Gotham Prepper. Check you guys later.